Back here live in Branson, where we are picking up some interesting debris here. George Waldenberg is with me. There's a couch here that came from the Hilton Hotel. You've yeah. got a piece of glass as well, and that's an awful long way away for that to land up here. Right, and especially when you have winds traveling 120 to 130 miles per hour. Remember, this is an EF2. And uh, when you get shards of glass like this, this is the uh, dark tinted glass that came from the Hilton, uh, the Hilton Hotel, which is downtown, about a half a mile across the river over there. And then also uh, stuff like this, this piece of wood with a nail in and of course you can see why projectiles like this flying through the air are dangerous so I'll just put these down yeah. and uh, again this is the couch which was also blown across the river and up the bluff which brings us to the myth remember right, a lot of people think that you don't see tornadoes in March and people up on this hill in fact didn't yeah. think they would ever see one right yeah there was a woman that lives about two blocks away 82 year old woman she's lived here for about 60 years and the local legend was here on Mount Branson, they were safe from tornadoes up on top of this little hillside that would protect them. Well, of course, we can see that that wasn't the case. She'd been here for 60 years, never saw a tornado you know, in her, in her neighborhood. Um, and the tornado really was a 22-mile path that this tornado took, okay? And uh, it also broke another myth, which is the river is right here. And the tornado actually traveled across the river right up the hill and created all yeah, this damage. Usually that's something we don't see. It's just been amazing to see the damage and the scope of it, but also the resistance resilience of the people here today. Yeah, I mean, uh, when we got here, there was uh, power lines all over the road down here. Now the power lines are back up, the sounds of chainsaws in the air, and people are really in good spirits. And one of the things is they're happy because there weren't any casualties in the town of Branson. And, very important. Yeah, and they want you to know that they're open for business and the tourism continues. We'll send it back to uh, Krista and Elizabeth now.